It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1651, recorded Thursday, November 30th, 2017. Pill Poppin' Pooch. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have a gadget that your dog will love, an amazing LED projector, and a gadget suggested by a viewer that will help you out in disastrous situations. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is! Dick D. Bartolo, I couldn't think of a thing fast enough. This is the first episode forever. I couldn't think of an expertise quick enough. Dick D. Bartolo, how you doing, Dickie D., our host of the I'm show? I'm doing fine, and you, sir? I am doing great, doing fantastic. Man, it has been a big uh, last week. We had Thanksgiving, and then, of course, all the deals, all the did Cyber you buy anything? Mondays. Did I did, but you would be surprised at what I bought. I bought, yes, I bought Tupperware. Good. That's how, 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 how kitty. Uh, and that's how you know you're an adult. We're on Cyber Monday. <laughs> I bought Tupperware. Tupperware. I think I, I also bought some extension cords and some um, light, uh, to light hooks to put on the side of my house for Christmas lights. Oh, so, oh okay, okay. Well, I, I bought well, officially I, an adult. I st started out. Tuesday, the deal of the day was something from uh, Ufi. Oh yes, it, yes. Oh, you know about I Ufi? I do remember. Which, you, yeah, I think we talked about this briefly. Maybe. Yeah, it's a, a division of uh, Anchor, so I bought their version of the uh, the, the dot and a, an Alexa. Yeah, the Echo uh, Dot. Yes, Ufi. exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, but then on Friday, Black Friday, the dot was reduced to. $30 and for $5 more, they threw in a $30 smart switch. So I could not resist. So now I have the Eufy and I have the Echo Dot and I have a uh, smart outlet. Wow. Uh, my, You're going to have a smart one. apartment by the end of this. N yeah, I know. Well, you know what? The smart outlet works great. I keep it on the boat. And when I want to see my engine or what's going on in the back of my boat at night, I can turn the spotlight on from my phone. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. Um, a Eufy so. is a division of Anchor. Yes. Which I, I have actually already bought a few Eufy products. I bought their smart vacuum, which is basically a Roomba. Um, and I have loved it so far. It's uh, a lot less expensive than the Roomba, and it has features that only the highest end, most expensive Roomba has, like returning to home when it gets low battery, things like that. Um, but what you were talking about was uh, this device, the uh, little smart speaker, which uses the uh, Amazon Echo like software, basically. So you can talk yes, exactly. to Alexa. You can do everything that Alexa can do, but it's just in its own little platform. What's funny yes. is I was at CES when they announced that this was going to be uh, available. Like when, when they said, listen, here's what we want to do. We want you to use this as a platform. You can put uh, the Echo, uh, I'm saying Echo stuff, so I don't completely yes, trigger yes, everyone's, exactly. uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know uh, name, she who should not be named on any yes, podcast. Yes. Um, you can use the Echo software in any device. You could put it into a vacuum cleaner. You could put it into your car. Um, and so this is a product that just basically mimics the, the dot uh, for less expensive. So it's yeah. really cool. Except it doesn't have Bluetooth. Right. Okay. So, so there you go. So oh, they're finding yeah. ways to cut costs. Exactly. And, and also, when it was a deal of the day, it was $19. Oh my so gosh. I thought... I, I, I said I could buy one of these as a paperweight. I mean, yeah. 19 Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, and then because when I bought it, the dot was still fifty dollars. Yeah. So exactly. it was big. Nineteen uh, nineteen and chain. Maybe it was nineteen ninety nine. But I it was still switching now from the dots and, and Amazon stuff to Google's Home Mini. Um, and I gotta say, I think I like the Home Mini better. Um, because I was getting really annoyed that I couldn't ask Alex, I blah, 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 that, couldn't that ask person. Echo, yeah, that person, uh, many things. I couldn't ask her basic things. And with the Google Home, I can ask the weirdest stuff. And it will, sometimes it's like, it's smart, stupid. Like it will hear what I said and it'll do a search, but the result will be dumb. But at the same time, I'm like, Wow, I'm really, really surprised that you were able to get that far with my query, even though that wasn't really the information uh, that I was looking for. So, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. no, I th I thought the Ufi uh, when I would ask it using the same name, a lot of times it would say, uh, "Well, I haven't learned that yet," yep. and maybe I thought, "Well, maybe because I only paid twenty dollars." <laughs> <laughs> no. They just don't do AI as, as good as, uh, as Google does. I mean, I can ask something like, you know, how far is it from this location to this location, and it'll figure it out. And then I could ask a second thing like, when was that location founded? You know, and not even, and say it. And like, let's say I was saying, oh, how? yes, yes. So you know, it remembers what it you're remembers talking your about. your previous, yeah, queries and, and everything like that. I mean, the, also, I found that it's much easier. Now, so I'm a Google Play unlimited subscriber. So all my music that I, I use is through Google Play Music. Um, and that was frustrating with Alexa. Uh, Try not to say it, folks. I'm, I'm trying to save you the pain. Sorry, that was difficult with the Echo because um, I would ask to play something and she would constantly say, oh, you're not a member. Would you like to become oh, yes, a, a yes. member? Now I do have Spotify, but you have to remember to say Spotify after everything. And that was just a big rub for me. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, All right. So anyway, uh, anything else that you got for Black Friday or? Uh, um, no, I think uh, I think that was the only thing that I did. Yeah. Or uh, bought, I rather. Same thing. I'm I'm logging in to make sure that I didn't order anything else, <laughs> anything exciting. No, I got pet food. No, that was not that exciting. Um, so yeah. Uh, we have a lot this episode. Oh my gosh! Uh, we have we do have one some product fun. that's been shipped all over the world. It's crazy. Yes, yes. Um, I'm going to start out with uh, quite an amazing projector, and uh, let's take a look. Dick Demortolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv. Recently, Ben Q, uh, they make high-end electronics. Ben Q asked a small number of reporters if they would like to review their new Ben Q i500. This is the box for it. It is the ultralight LED projector. And why would anybody say no? Uh, I love their stuff, so I thought we would see what it looks like. We're going to do an unboxing. Ah! Wow! If Perfect. you're a fan of watching people take uh, things out of boxes, I don't know. I think it's easier just to go right to the meat and potatoes. All right, so this is the unit. Uh, so it is a totally self-contained projection system. Sorry and, about that hiss. It turns uh, out the steam is coming the lens. up. <laughs> okay, there's the lens. And you know what? This has a magnet on it. Oh, wow, oh, this, that's look, nice. Look, this is clever. Uncover it, store it there. Okay, uh, so we have on off. This is turn on Bluetooth. It has a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, in one of the reviews, I saw that you can play music through it, but I'm, I'm not quite sure why you would want to have something so uh, technical as this and just use it as a Bluetooth speaker. There should be inputs in the back. And probably under here. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, this is, look, this magnetic is also, well. also magnetic. So very clever. Let me turn it facing you. 
Uh, and I'm going to stand up so I can read it too. So we have mic input, audio in, audio out, HDMI in, USB 3 in, piece, uh, <clears throat> uh, computer in, uh, LAN in, USB 2 in. Uh, it also has built-in Wi-Fi. So you can actually send stuff directly from uh, whatever you want. You can send YouTube here wirelessly. Now it comes with uh, a brick for power and remote control. It has two uh, five watt speakers built in. So we're gonna set it up and you'll see what it looks like in a mo. Come back. So I put in a USB uh, flash drive with a, a Gizwiz spot. We have an 18 foot wide <laughs> picture on the ceiling. All right, and then just for laughs, I'm gonna bring it down here. Then it just got a, has a little whiteboard here. And so this is, try and show me and, and the uh, mm -hmm. screen in the same shot. So you can see we're like two and a half feet from the screen. That, that's a, a two by three foot. And now I have to refocus up. Oh. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Focus it. That's pretty bright, okay. Then there's also, I'm just holding the projector in the air, which is why that, uh, what's it called, peace dummy. Anyway, there is a uh, auto button here where you can adjust to the keystone. All right, and I'm gonna put the projector down just so you can hear the volume, okay. Uh, a couple of reviews. So this evidently has been out for a while. I thought it was brand new. Uh, they put each other in and that, there, that the speaker was was, was very into whatever language quiet. Were but I think we have a little video running here that, that that shows how that happens. Is it is it instantaneous? It might take a moment, but it kind of is instantaneous. Right, so to me, in a in a room, can you, you would have no trouble hearing that. So we'll do a little wrap up here. So here it is. That's a three by f a two by three foot screen. We are right here. You get all the way in. You that's how close we are, and we're more than filling that screen. You can adjust to the keystone thing. If you bring it up to the ceiling, look at how big that picture gets. And I'll let, you, I'll let you hear what the sound is. So all in all, this is really a nice looking uh, machine. I think the lowest price I saw it for online was $6.99. Uh, the instructions leave a little bit to be desired. It's one of those uh, books that, with no words, you know, you, you do that and then you do that. And then... <clears throat> Do some of that and some of that. <laughs> so finally I went online and said, uh, BenQ i500 instructions. And then a 75 page book came up. So this has a lot of features. There's even a little device underneath where you can lock it to a table. So if you're at a presentation and you're afraid someone might, uh, might walk off with it, there's uh, an adjustable foot that moves up and down. The back legs are adjustable. So it's a well thought out machine, but it's not, <laughs> it's not for tiny New York City apartments where you only have this much wall space. This is great for business presentations. Um, what can I say? BenQ i500. Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Metastrider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. Well, that is actually really impressive. Um, I have some, uh, some history with projectors. I used to oh. install projectors in Oh, great. Homes. Yeah, because I've never ever used one. That was the yeah. first one. Yeah, and so there's some really, the, the things that stand out about this projector that uh, is quite awesome is the lifetime of the bulb. Most bulbs do not last that long, be, but because this is LED, it'll last as long as an LED, which is 20,000 hours. So that's, and as a reference point, um, many of the projectors that I installed would, would suggest 6,000 hours for a bulb. 
Um, so that's over double the amount of time. Right, exactly. And then they have an econo mode where it's 30,000 hours. Amazing. S yeah. So yeah, so it'll dim, dim it just a bit to make sure you can get some more uh, use out of that bulb. Uh, the contrast ratio is also quite nice. It looks like it's at 100,000, 100,000 to 1, um, which is a good contrast ratio to have as well because you want your darks to be really dark and you want your brights to be bright, which gives the effect of blackness that can sometimes make a projector look very gray and make something, a, a good movie, look very muddy. Um, so that's good. And then also the price um, on Amazon is going for $745 right now, which is a pretty good price. Um, yeah, lot. you know what? I think B&H might have had it for six. I saw a, a couple of six ninety nine. dollars That's awesome. Because uh, one of the standard projectors, if I was ever going to just suggest, someone said, I want to buy a projector, what should I buy? I would almost always suggest the BenQ uh, W1070. And I remember that that's, that's price was at $699 for forever on Amazon. Um, and so this has a few leg ups that the bulb is a lot longer um, and that hopefully that price will hit that around $700 price point. If you're someone who wants to fill a big space with an image, projection yes. is a really good way to go. I mean, now, yeah. the one downside is most projector technology has not gotten to 4K yet. Everything is still 1080p. There's 4K projectors out there, but they're going to cost you $20,000. Um, and so there's uh, not that much 4k content though, right? No, it, well, it, yeah, it depends on what, what type of content you're watching regularly. If you're on, uh, like cable or something like that. Yeah. No, not, not a ton yet. Um, but Netflix, if you have a good internet connection and a thing that can stream 4k, like the 4k Apple TV, um, or, you know, some type of, uh, ultra HD, uh, player, um, Netflix has a lot of content in 4K now, um, oh, and good. a lot of movies now are coming out in Ultra HD, uh, which I think is more, the, the Blu-rays that have been coming out, I think you never know if you're going to get like 2.5K versus 4K. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so there's a, there's, we're just starting out. Um, one thing though is if you are getting a massive screen, if you're going like more than say a hundred inches, you're going to be standing so far away from that screen that the resolution doesn't matter as, as much. Um, if you're in a, like a, a home theater situation that you have like a dark room that you can project, uh, you're, there's not going to be a lot that you're seeing, um, in pixels, pixel wise, at least. Um, yeah, so no, yeah. it was funny because the only surface big enough <laughs> was the, was the ceiling? It, yeah. it's 40, 40 inches to two hundred inches. <laughs> I said, you know, we have to go to a, someone else's apartment to to see all the way through. Yeah, uh, and I'm trying to see if this is seven twenty or ten eighty with this projector, and I'm quickly mm. running through to see the specs. I know it said accepts ten eighty p in, but I'm not yeah, sure. You know. you know a lot more than I do about this. That's great. Um, yeah, I mean, projectors can be uh, really. Uh, I, and I was I was amazed when I was looking for the instruction book. Ben Q makes a ton of oh, projectors. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ben oh. Q's kind of the 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 one to. to <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, here on the Amazon page, it doesn't even tell you. Uh, this is like uh, one of those compare products. Uh, oh yes, things. yes, yes. Even under resolution, it is. It's like oh, we don't even know. It's just <laughs> dashes. That's crazy. Oh. Um, so bizarre. Okay, Bleak and Beatmaster are both saying that it's 1200 by 800. So this is not a 1080p projector. It'll okay, be, okay. It'll be, a, it'll be a high resolution HD projector, but it won't be a 1080p. It'll be, you know, 720 is, is what most of, you, most of your thing is, is going to do. Um, so that's a little bit of a downside because, you know, the, the uh, W1070 was a 1080 1080p. projector. 1080p. Yeah, not full HD is, is kind of a... Kind of a downside, but okay. uh, there's a lot of nice features in that. That it looks like it's built for travel. It looks like it does a very wide throw um, and not too too expensive. And that LED bulb is uh, 
nice plus. Will last a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So now our dog gadget, it's not a gadget, but if you own a dog, you will definitely want to know about this product. So let's see. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. You know, having a dog is great fun. When the dog is not feeling well, oh, you are ill too. And the worst thing is when you have to give your dog a pill. For some reason, dogs hate taking pills. They can hide them in the side of their mouth and then spit them out when you're not looking. Like this guy here, he is not feeling well. Oh, man. He's still been feeling yeah. flat. Yeah, he hasn't been eating long. much. He's so, <laughs> feeling flat. Look what we have here. We have something called pillstachios. And when I first heard about them, I thought, well, wait a minute. Pistachios for dogs? And then I, I read the press release. This is what pistachios are. They have nothing to do with the nut, all right? Or anything to do with any nut. They are a You're just way nuts if you don't buy it. to <laughs> get a pill into a dog, okay? They have this, whoa. I'm gonna open one up. So this is the small one, okay? So you put the pill in there, you close it up, and then you feed it to the dog as a snack. Wow. Now, if we only had a dog... <laughs> if we only had a dog who was willing... He's good at hitting his cues. As, <laughs> ...as a snack. <laughs> oh, much more. Uh, okay, so that's the small one. <laughs> Hang on, I'll open up the big pack. Okay. Oh, let me see what. what... It's Charlie, a professional hang on. dog Charlie, actor. The pay is the same, whether you act or you just uh, eat. Um, so that was cranberry turkey that Charlie was flipping over, and this one is apple bacon. It's sort of like they're it's they're like a meal and a dessert in like a meal and a dessert. Uh, cranberry turkey. Well, that's a good combination. Apple bacon. Oh, okay. He's, what, he's waiting the for his cue. One is yeah. Blueberry chicken. Okay. So now this is what I don't know what the big ones look like, but we'll find out in the middle in, in a minute. And hang on, Charlie. Oh my gosh, she is so excited about this. So it has these. <laughs> How much did you pay okay, him to so do that? Now we'll see. Oh, uh, right. this is what one of the bigger ones looks like. Okay. So again, you put the the real pill in there, and then you lock it. Okay. And then you see if the dog is at all. <laughs> I think it works. In, did you eat that already? No. Oh, okay. He's eating it. What do you did you eat it? Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> Uh, all right, so fortunately, you know, fortunately, Charlie doesn't need any pills, but you can see by the way he ate those two. I'll give you one more <laughs> with, with uh, nothing in it. He, Charlie, loves it. I guess this is his favorite. Well, I guess he likes them all. Um, all right, one more, Charlie. This is your only, all right, your only pay. You know, Charlie belongs to the Actors Union, the Dog <laughs> Actors Union, Ofstra. Okay, there you go. Okay, oh, boy. Uh, all right, so they're $13 a pack. They come in three different flavors that I just told you about, and they come in two sizes. You get 32 pill or 32 car pill carriers uh, in the small ones, and in the big pack, oh, you still get 32 uh, edible containers, and they're under $13 for a bag of them. And let me just see what it says. Um, all natural ingredients, USA sourced <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> Healthy ingredients. We took special care. Charlie, there was no gluten in it. Is that all right? All right. Here, you want to know? If, you know, I'll give you. Oh, gosh. Take my. Um, Tostachios are made with the smell lock closure system. Mm -hmm. So dogs can't smell the pill inside. And they can separate the pill or spit it out. Uh, all right. So. 
I think this is really a great idea uh, for giving pills to dogs. Dick Bartolo, Mad Madness writer, and the Gizwiz. One take data here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. <laughs> you couldn't have planned that. Uh, that is hilarious. Charlie um, is a riot. <laughs> so pill stachios. Um, obviously, I mean, it, we don't even need to say anything else. Uh, it's, it, <laughs> If that wasn't a selling point, I don't, I don't know what is. Yeah. No, my, uh, I had a dog, uh, Teddy, who would hide the pill in his mouth. I remember he hated pills. And finally, I would, you know, squeeze his nose and pull the tongue. And I used a, 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 an eye drop of the squirt in with some water. And then, like, 20 minutes later, I'd walk in and find the pill behind the couch. He he. He knew how to hide them. Yeah. But I think this is a way that, and the, the company says, the first one, give them to them empty so right. that they like the taste of it, and then put the pill in the second one. That was no uh, problem so. for, for Charlie. No, uh, Charlie, he's uh, pill crazy. Yeah. And it looks like they're, they're in physical stores as well. They're in, as some, in, some, in some physical stores and on the website. That's great. Oh, man. So it's Pills a fun thing. <laughs> It feels <laughs> yeah, The name is a little misleading when you first hear it. Yeah, it definitely sounds like pustachios, which... Yes, exactly. It's like, wait exactly. a second. I don't want to be feeding my dog anything that shouldn't have. Yeah. Um, perfect. Okay. Now, the next gadget that we have, uh, this has uh, gone through a full journey um, about uh, at the beginning of October, we had a letter from a viewer who said, big thank you to you guys for putting up this show uh, because I'm here in Puerto Rico and I've been going and finding cell service to download the show for entertainment and, it, and it's great. And that was really incredibly touching and uh, just, I mean, one of the most amazing and, and moving um, letters we've ever gotten. Well, then we had an anonymous donor who said, hey, I heard that letter, I, uh, that moved me as well, and it moved me to want to suggest that you get this product and send it to him in Puerto Rico, and the product is the Anchor Solar Power. Uh, actually, you know, I don't have it with me. I can't believe that I, I didn't bring it up here uh, with me, but the Anchor Solar Power Charger. And so uh, out in Puerto Rico, where the power is still to this day having a difficult time, um, uh, you know, getting back on its feet. Um, and so this is a perfect device to charge all of your other devices. And so we got the address of the person out in Puerto Rico and we shipped him uh, a few. This, this happened about two weeks ago that we uh, shipped them out uh, to, uh, to the fellow in Puerto Rico. And of course, we got uh, one to, uh, to, to review. So I did a review earlier today of uh, the power charger, so the power port. So let's uh, check out that review from me earlier today. Hey Dickie D, it's Chad. We're outside and we're checking out uh, the Anchor PowerPort Solar. And right now, I, I, oh hi Char Char, how you doing? <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. The idea is that this is of course a solar panel for you to charge your devices. So it looks like this. And you kind of open it up just like so. And there are the solar panels inside. And then you have a little pocket inside of here, and you have a little, uh, you know, just a normal micro USB. You have a desiccant. And the idea is that you put this in the sun, as it is uh, capturing the sun, it will charge your devices. You can actually see there's a little red light inside of there that is powered on. Now, uh, it doesn't have its own battery. You kind of know Anchor is having batteries. Um, but instead, so you'll plug in your device or plug in a, a battery. It has two USB ports uh, inside of there. I have an Anchor battery right here that is very, very low. I don't know if you can see, but that blue light is blinking. It is, it is at the very, very end of its battery life. So I'm gonna grab a USB, plug it in, and then we're gonna leave it out here and then plug this in here. Let's see if we can see it start charging once I plug it in. Just gonna plug that in like that. 
and there it goes. It's actually charging. It's a, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, it's just as simple as that. So I'm gonna leave this, and then I could like say throw this inside of here. And uh, one of the cool things is that it has grommets um, so that you could you know, hang this up or something like that. I'm just gonna kind of prop it up and uh, wait for it to charge up this battery a little bit. We'll come back in say 30 minutes to see um, how, uh, how good it's charged. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. I've been leaving it just like this. It's warm, obviously, because of the sun. Ooh, and we are already up one little dot, so we're working on the second one. So an estimation is 20%, 25%, but uh, obviously that's, uh, this is, isn't uh, all that detailed. But in 30 minutes, we've gotten quite a charge. Uh, I'm really impressed. It's, it's pretty lightweight for what it is. I mean, it is solar panels. Um, so I could see bringing this camping. I could see uh, having this as an emergency. Um, sort of preparedness thing to keep things charged. It doesn't have to work with a battery. You can work directly with your phone. Um, and it is not all that expensive. So the Anchor Power Port Solar is a really, really, really cool product. So uh, I think that it's absolutely amazing. The cost is currently on Amazon $61.99 and this is just such a cool, it's, it's, it's light enough weight that I could see carrying this around at a campsite or yeah. uh, you know, bring, throwing it in the car just as a backup source of power. Um, it will deliver uh, up to three amps per, uh, uh, across both ports, or if you only have right. one okay. port plugged in, uh, it'll do 2.4. Um, so that would be 1.5 per each port. Uh, or uh, 2.4 if you only have one port plugged in. Uh, that's in direct sunlight, so that's in the best conditions. Um, obviously, when I was there, you kind of saw the sun coming in at an angle, so it was, uh, it was a little bit later in the day. Uh, this will work better during the middle of the day when it's noon and the sun is as bright as it gets. Uh, so uh, there, you know, just keep in mind that that 25% charge on that battery um, would be even better in better light. I, I am really impressed with it. I mean, it looks, it's durable. The solar cells seem like they could take a little bit of a beating. Uh, the fabric seems, you know, nice and easy to, to, you know, work with and the Velcro, uh, keeps it all together there. Really, really a cool idea. And I'm so glad that we had, uh, a viewer reach out to us and make a really, really cool connection with that other viewer who is in Puerto Rico, uh, you know, dealing well, with some really Well, absolutely. It's really great. Really great. And I'm, yeah. I saw in that picture you just did, as you're roaming around, you can wear it on your backpack. Yeah. There's the grommets, those metal grommets on the, on the, the charger would really help r running some string through it or something like that. I do wish the grommet right here is right underneath the pouch and the pouch opens on the other side, kind of where that phone is. I wish the grommet was right there that way you could oh, easily yeah. you know but uh no big deal no big deal so yeah that is the another fantastic product from anchor and uh let's look also just one last time four stars on amazon with over a thousand 4.2 stars with over a thousand reviews so definitely a thumbs up uh, yeah us. no absolutely yeah. absolutely and our our uh, contributor wish to re remain anonymous. anonymous. Yes. He said yes. it was uh, he and his mother who made the contribution and uh, it's great. It's just great. Yeah. yeah. Big, big thanks. Sorry. It did kind of take us a little while to finally get around to it. Had to ship it off and had a free moment to review it, but we did ship it uh, a lot sooner than we just reviewed it on the show. And exactly. Big, I mean, exactly. That it warms my heart to know that one viewer <laughs> is reaching out to another viewer in uh, such a generous, generous way. So thank you, thank you, thank you, um, to, to to anonymous person, to anonymous and, person. An, an anonymous mother. Exactly. <laughs> um, with that, it is time to jump into. Da -da -da. You, don't, you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Preppy Corner. Get it. Get it. Uh, so this is the last week of my theme month, which is the kitchen. 
kind of keeping kitchen around. <laughs> Jack has just been sitting here with me. It's, he's a little, he blends in the <laughs> they table. Said, wait, they said, wait a minute, that dog was in a video. Yeah, he got uh, and jealous. The, and, and your dog was in the other video. I don't see any cat in any video. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so he's joining me here, here on the table. Um, so this is the kitchen month of gadgets. And this one I saw on Amazon and just absolutely had to buy it. It is called the mayo knife. And the idea is you get down to that last little bit of something in a jar and it is so hard with a, with a, uh, you know, a metal knife to scrape out the extra little bits of a jar. So this mayo knife is perfectly created to reach into a jar and scoop out the last little bit. And uh, of course it's saying, you know, more mayo for your money, the mayo <laughs> knife. Um, what's funny is during the packaging, I accidentally cut open the corner. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It uh, kind of has that, uh, you know, specific shape to reach down in there. And although I don't have mayonnaise with me, I do have peanut butter. So I was gonna test it out with this jar of peanut butter and it is the perfect uh, amount. We're right down to the very oh, end yeah, yeah. of our peanut butter. So let me get a few more props. Of course, the kitty is going, wait a second, what is this peanut butter I'm <laughs> smelling? Um, so let me open up. Oh man, Okay. the, the cat is gonna hey. be, hey, get out of there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Dogs love peanut butter. I guess cats do too. Yeah, you, you know, never put it past a cat to jump in on we're on a dog's turf. So let's get some bread out here. I just realized my my bread is a little bit moldy. Uh, oh my gosh! That's okay. We just won't eat this. Um, okay. So <laughs> first impression is uh, kind of using the knife. It's quite easy to jump into the edges. Let's. Put it down and scraping the edges of the peanut butter. Whoa, wow, I got quite a lot of peanut butter there. And you can see it did a pretty good job of scraping up the edges there. I got a little bit of peanut butter on the side of the, the, the thing. I do feel a, like it's a little bit of um, blasphemy to use the mayo knife on peanut butter, but uh, I just didn't have a, a mayonnaise jar around. So well, it's we're getting a lot out. It's working. It's working really, really great. There's this groove at the bottom that really makes it quite easy to uh, to scrape the last little bit off the bottom. And I'm sure that this has been specifically designed for a mayonnaise jar that has maybe even different. Well, curves. you know what? It almost looks like your peanut butter jar has a dimple in the center too. Yeah, it does. It does. It has that that little yeah. dimple. Yeah. But. I mean, it's still getting peanut butter out. I mean, this is quite a uh, quite a good amount of, of of peanut butter that was left in wow. inside the jar. It's um, a fifteen ounce it's a fifteen ounce bottle, and Chad has gotten out two and a half pounds <laughs> of peanut butter so far. And the way that the, the curves on this work, you know, I can easily get up underneath. Uh, oh the yeah, edge and and get all that extra little bits of stuff that. Uh, Normally is quite difficult to get. So yeah, the the mayo knife, you know, it's one of those things that you just kind of keep around, keep inside uh, your drawer until you get down to the last little bit on um, on whatever jar that you're working with. I'm sure that it'll work great with jams and jellies and of course mayonnaise as well. And the cost is not much at all. It is five dollars and fifty six cents and available on Prime. So, just add that. Wait a minute. To what's the one next to it for four twenty? What is that actually? Is this like a three pack? The the jelly oh, knife. Jelly. They make oh. a competitor product. <laughs> I did not realize that the jelly knife for four dollars and twenty cents. I don't see a big difference there. I'm looking no, at the I uh, either. the knife that I have in my hand and the knife right there, and that looks like the same curvature. Uh. Hmm. So save some money. Get the jelly knife. I don't think that the uh, jelly or mayonnaise is going to uh, complain there. Well, let's go ahead and wow. toss that that away. But yeah. So anyway, I thought this was a fun little thing. It's easy to keep just in a drawer, just around, and uh, and pull out when needed. 
and uh, pretty inexpensive. It uses a kind of a, a soft plastic on the edge there. So yeah, the Mayo knife. That is the, the last gadget. Knife. Yeah, of, and we should uh, point out that we are taping this at the end of November. Right. So even though you're seeing this in December, we stuck with the, the November theme. Perfect. But ne next time we meet, there'll be a whole new theme. Yes, and uh, decided by the patrons. So if you want to uh, be part of that process, make sure you support on Patreon to uh, be part of the, um, the poll on what the next theme will be. With that, Thanks. let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. On. And our letter is from Cassandra, who is a fan of the show. And Cassandra writes, hi, Dick and Chad. I've been planning forever to make a video, and I can finally cross it off my to-do list. This is uh, my new gadget, the Proctor Silex Grill. So let's see Cassandra's video of the week. Here we go. Hi, Chad and fellow Giz Wizards. Today I'm showing off a new kitchen gadget that I picked up this past Sunday at Family Dollar. The Prilosec Health Smart Contact Grill. I wasn't looking for this when I went in there, but it was only $10 and I thought, why not? Well, it's well worth the $10. Today I made burgers and grilled onions for lunch and it was wow. pretty decent. It was good. It has a small grilling base, so it's good for one person. It measures about nine inches across. And at its widest, the cooking surface is about four inches. It comes with a drip pan. Make sure that drip pan is underneath. You don't want anything to come out onto your counter. They suggest to use a cooking spray. I'm using, we know, all know this yellow can. I'm using this to spray my pan. Okay, don't over spray it. Just a little spritz on the top, a little spritz on the bottom. And I'm going to grill a cheese wrap for my lunch tomorrow. It's just a regular tortilla wrap. And I've got some shredded cheese on the inside. You have to preheat the grill. They said about six minutes. Put the tortilla down. Put the lid down. As you can see, the wrap is a little bit bigger than the grill, but that's fine. Close it, and you wait. You'll know when it's done when you can, one, smell it, and two, see some treat cheese come out onto the drip tray. After three minutes, the wrap has been grilled and the cheese has melted. And you can see it's come out the sides and it's in the drip pan. Make sure that drip pan is in there. You'll be picking up either grease from hamburgers or melted cheese off of your countertop. I unplugged it because there's no on and off switch, <laughs> which means once oh, you plug I hate it in, that. it starts to heat up and it will continue cooking your food until you unplug it. To remove just take a plastic spatula, or in my case, I have tongs. Pick it up, put it down. They said to allow the, the plates to cool for a few minutes before you clean it. I have tried cleaning it after waiting a few minutes, and I have discovered that it's easier to let it cool completely and then clean it. It's very easy to clean. I can use a wet sponge with a little bit of soap. Do not immerse it in water, just wipe it down. Okay. Again, this is the Prilosec Health Smart Contact Grill. 
and we can go out there. Perfect. Man, that is yeah. a good find Ten for $10. Bucks. Yeah. Ten bucks. Wow. Really, really good. But um, you know what? That is ridiculous that it has no on-off switch. Yeah. For $10, I guess you can't buy an on-off switch. You, <laughs> I guess yeah. you can't. Yeah. yeah. You uh, need I to mean, have your, your, a smart switch so that you can say, tell that lady on uh, Echo. Yeah, exactly. Person, shut hey, that grill. Turn off my grill. Shut, shut. Um but that is really reasonable. It brings to mind, of course, the uh, waffle maker that I showed off uh, just a little while ago. Yeah, but and that was that was convenient. ten bucks too, or, or yeah. just even cheaper. No, yeah, mm. it was exactly that price. But that looks larger. Could do more yes. than just uh, the waffle maker. So I think that that's a much better find. Um, mm. So wow, very very good find, Excellent. From Cassandra. Cass thank you, Cassandra. Thank you, uh, Cassandra. Gets uh, the. Uh, November December issue of Mad, and Alfred e, signed Alfred E Newman photo, and we're fortunately we're getting some uh, more videos coming in because everybody now knows the deadline is December fifteenth. If you want a Mad, and you live in U.S. or Canada, you have to have your video in by December fifteenth. And what I'm doing is Chad and I will look through the videos and if we're going to use them even February or March we'll send I will send you the mad right away okay because Perfect. once December 22nd comes uh mad is gone from New York I have no way even if I get free mads I I I checked even media mail is 280 for every issue <laughs> so uh that's why the what the heck is it contest is going to be something different that i can mail out easier but if you want a mad and an alfred e newman picture get your videos in before december 17th uh, we'll look at them right away and if we're going to use them we'll send you a mad immediately and by then it'll be the january february uh, 2018 mad we'll have them in the office uh by the middle of december so do it and uh, just uh, put it on a one to two minute video. Uh, put it on YouTube. There's a drop down menu. If you want, just click unlisted. Send the URL to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Perfect. And get them in quick. Uh, quick. With that, let's jump into the ladder. <laughs> and the letter has very much to do with what's going to happen uh, after December uh, 17th. Um, and uh, a question for Chad in the chat room. So the letter comes from Dorothy. Dorothy is the one who bought the cat at Fountain that we had and solved the problem that her cat and her dog would drink out of the fish tank. And she bought the cat at Fountain, and now the dog and cat drink out of the cat at Fountain, and the fish gets to have its own aquarium water. Uh, uh, Dorothy lives in France, and but she has someone in the States that is going to mail her her med and her picture. Perfect. But I said, Dorothy, can you do me a favor? I'm going to send you an Alfred E. Newman picture autographed. And I'm going to scan it and send it to you. So Dorothy sent me this email. Thanks for using the video. Uh, I printed out the Alfred E. Newman photo and it looks great. I printed it out on glossy paper because I had some lying around. Somehow my printer decided to print another copy on some high quality plain paper. That looked great too. I think this is a great idea for your overseas audiences. Maybe they'll be more motivated to send in videos. I hope this helps keep up the good work now and over the years. Best regards, Dorothy. So now my question is, I signed a, uh, an Alfred e. Newman picture and then I put a plastic <laughs> sheet over it and then sign my name and then scan that. And I, so my question is, is there a program where I can directly write on the photograph, the, the scan of Alfred E. Newman and change it for every person I want to send it to? 
Probably. I mean, you could use <laughs> something. Let me think. Uh, you know, I tried. I tried doing it with the mouse, and yeah, you, I, I, you know, I, I'm talking about even. I have one touchscreen computer. Is there a program that I could like sign the screen so it would really look like my signature, but would come out on the photo of Alfred E. Newman? Yeah. Anyway, I'm thinking that like the best thing would probably be some type of uh, iPhone or smartphone app that uh, allows you to import um, an image in and then you can draw right on it. Um, of course, Photoshop, but that costs quite a lot of money. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, you could use that on, on a touchscreen um, computer, but... but Be Becky said cheap. lots of, uh, yeah, I need something Android-y. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, sure there's anyway, something out there. I just don't know uh, exactly what it would be. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. But it, it was fun. It, uh, it's interesting to know that now... I can send Alf, uh, Alfred E. Newman pictures to people anywhere. Digitally, yeah. D digitally, yeah. You know, I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll just keep using uh, plastic and writing over it. But yeah. It's it, it's a solution. You should get in touch yeah. with uh, Wacom or Wacom. Oh, or yeah, yeah. Just ask for, uh, 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 you know, one of their products, and then you a could... A product sample, sign. yes. There you go, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Be great. If you get a Cintiq, though, send it my way. I'd... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, wait a minute. It has to go upstairs to Dennis first. He... Yeah, well, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, go, go and take first. Dennis's tablet and <laughs> use his stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh... Uh, anyway, thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> that is great. Um, I want to give another big shout out. We mentioned it earlier in the episode, but our patrons, our patrons help support the show every single episode. If you get anything from this show, please consider supporting at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, we have over, let me, let me look, um, uh, I think it's over 400, let me, 400, no, 200, yeah, 259, I was remembering a different number, 259 patrons, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, it does not, if you love the show, it does not have to be a lot of money. We're asking for just a few cents per episode. Just show your support in some way. Uh, and uh, big, big, from our hearts to yours, thank you so, 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 so much for supporting the show. Uh, get on over to gizwiz.biz. Uh, there you can play What the Heck Is It? And join everyone else playing What the Heck Is It? I bet there's a lot of people... Uh, guessing now because this is uh, the last moments that we'll be able to get free Mad Magazines for playing the game. So uh, get on over there. This is the gadget, this uh, orange thing. This is the whole gadget, not just part of the gadget. Um, and uh, this is obvious to me that uh, <laughs> this is a food holder for um, tigers. You know, orange animals, tigers. Oh, you know, they, oh okay. It's okay. Uh, color coded to the to the animal, and so <laughs> it just uh, uh, there. There you go. Uh, it's maybe it's a a hammock for grasshoppers too. Not exactly certain, but whatever it is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz, and uh, there's 12 Mad magazines for correct answers. 24 for hilarious, funny, clever, interesting, and unique answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Um, we're coming up on the end of the year. So uh, very soon, I think we'll try to put this at the top of uh, gizwiz.tv, we'll be asking you for the best and worst gadgets of the year. And we're, we're going to do kind of a wrap up episode, uh, episodes um, uh, near the holiday uh, time so that we can um, uh, we can all take a break and we can all go. Uh, well, and you and I are going to go to CES, so we have to. Oh, do Oh, that's true. That's also yes. We have to do an extra CES. show. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, uh, I would say check out the top of the Gizwiz.tv website. Although it's not live as we record the show, um, I'll try to get a uh, a uh, form a, a post up there so that you guys can uh, submit what you think was the best and worst of 2017. Um, and that and if you have a, and, yeah, if you have a video of a gadget you bought on the show, uh, oh, we yeah. can roll that. We can roll that in. That'd be great. To into the show. If mm -hmm. you bought a gadget that you hated, uh, and all those gadgets will be eligible for a Mad Magazine, but get those in also before the seventeenth. If you want uh, a Mad Magazine in return, 
Okay. Perfect. So chat chat room, this is the most work. Yeah. The We're most work. Really we've putting ever you to work this holiday you. season. <laughs> but we got plenty of man magazines to we go do. around. So uh we do. So and it's the January, February twenty eighteen issue, uh, which is the Mad Twenty, which is the most popular issue of the year. That's awesome. Uh, with that, I think that's uh, the end of our episode. Thanks so much for watching. You can catch us live uh, just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time at gizwiz.tv. That's also where you can subscribe to the show to make sure you get it every single episode uh, in, in iTunes or YouTube. Doesn't matter which. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye. I'll be here.